In Suriat Majan village, Indonesia, breakfast is not a complicated affair. These dishes, although simple, are favourites among locals. Suatini has called this place home for 35 years now. This small restaurant is how Suatini maintains her living. Under Surat Majan's fresh air and bright sunshine, the guests have ample room to enjoy their meals. Compared to before, Suatini's restaurant offers a much more inviting and comfortable environment, with now even a hint of relative luxury. Changes began back in 2015. Before, our living conditions were filthy. Taking a shower was hard and difficult. We had no restrooms, no place to take a shower. The river was essentially our restroom. The river passing through Syriat Majan village witnessed firsthand how the area has evolved. As the population rose in this ancient village, the streets narrowed, the buildings became decrepit. These narrow walkways have now become the playground of local children. When Adik El Fajar first heard of the Kotaku slum upgrading project, this village leader knew that over half a century of backwardness and the lack of development would be changing. I think the main project along the river is doing very well. This will allow us to realize our dream to become a tourist destination. There will be many tourists who will come and visit. This will help us improve our living standards, our local economy, our community and education levels. The Kotaku project originated from an institution that was also established in 2015. As you know, over the decades, the World Bank and ADB have been uh, supporting, have been supporting poverty reduction, social programs, with a concession of funding, which in my view is enormously important. But because of limited resources, they could not do as much as needed in infrastructure. So we tried to chip in and we tried to reinforce or supplement or implement the work of those institutions by focusing on infrastructure and on the productive sectors. December the 25th, 2015, the China-initiated Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or AIIB, is officially established. The name of this new multilateral development bank makes it instantly clear the lender's objective. The AIIB will focus on much-needed infrastructure development projects in Asia to better promote connectivity and economic integration for the region. The Kotako slum upgrading project has pushed Suwatini's home and restaurant back a few metres, the purpose of which is to build a road. <laughs> the project has allowed Suwatini to construct a two-storey building. Her restaurant received a new batch of tables and chairs from the project as well. As the living environment of Suwatini's village changed for the better, word of mouth of her restaurant began to spread far and wide. These days, many from outside this village come to eat at Suatini's restaurant. So the project like Kotaku will certainly help not only Yogyakarta but also other cities in Indonesia to start upgrading the slum area, to make people living better with better access of clean water, better access of habitation and of course better housing itself. Today, over 1,400 slums in Indonesia are being upgraded. The AIIB, meanwhile, is looking into and pursuing more projects to improve living standards and livelihoods around the world. It should not be polluting. It should be conducive to environmental and social improvement. And the project should be completed on schedule. A focus on Asia, but embracing the world. It's all about pursuing common development. This is the responsibility of Chinese capital.